Hey everyone, so the last time I did a video, it was just my basic Vim workflow, and I got a bunch of requests to do something a bit more complex. So in this video, I'm going to go over doing diffs with Vim diff in Git. Um, this isn't specific to Git, but I'm going to show you a few tools that I have set up um, that allow me to use Git with Vim diff. Now, before I say that, um, I'm just going to plug a tool by Steve Losh that he wrote not too long ago called threesome.vim. So if I show you this here, um, it's just an awesome plugin for doing merges. Um, it's beautiful and uh, Steve did about a 20 minute demo on how to use it. So if you're looking on a really um, awesome tool to do merges, go look into that. Um, this one, this video is specifically just going to be using Vimdiff as a basic code review slash merge tool. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. So I'm in a, re a repo here, my Ranvir repo. You'll notice that I have one change. That's what the, the one yellow means. But if I just do a git status, you'll see I have one file changed. And say I want to review this before I commit. Usually, if I did a git diff, you would see something like this. A big unified diff, which is one, not pretty, two, hard to read. So what I've done is when I do vim diff, or uh, git diff, I see this. So how did I do this? In my git config, there is a diff external directive that you can set. So if I show you that, you'll see here I have diff external equals git diff wrapper. Now git diff wrapper is a very small um, shell script that just does this. Um, so I have bin sh, then vim diff one and two. Ignore the echo, you don't need that. I just do it for debugging. Um, so you can either copy this file from my dot files uh, along with my git config. Don't copy my email. I would hope you don't have the same email as me. And then drop it in, set, uh, and you should just be able to do git diff and it'll work from the start. So let's get into what actually goes on in vim diff. So git diff. Now you'll notice that I have two panes now instead of one pane if you're uh, not used to that. So on the left side I have my current file um, and on my right side I have what's on head. So this is what I have now. This is what used to be there. Um, so as you could probably safely assume, this reddish magenta color means I deleted something. This bluish color means I added something. Um, a gray line is changed and then what has changed is colored specifically in a bright orange. Now the reason Vimdiff is awesome is because it makes merging and um, changes between diffs super easy. So moving around the diff is accomplished by mainly two commands. So you have right bracket C and left bracket C. Like so. Right bracket C, right bracket C, right bracket C, left bracket C, left bracket C. It's a motion just like any other and it moves you between the change sets. So if I go to the top of file, for example, and I do three bracket C, it's going to move me to the third change. This makes it super easy to move around changes in a big file. You'll notice that I have it folded, but if I unfold it, um, instead of me having to, you know, move the file this way with a bunch of uh, paragraph movements, I can just do right bracket C, right bracket C, and it'll move me seamlessly to the next change. And that brings you into the commands to actually pull and push changes that you want to keep or um, remove. So for example here, let's say I have this bit of code on the right here and I removed it. 
But I want it back because maybe I I didn't really want to remove that. So you just do right bracket C, move to that change. Now this is a deleted bunch, so you'll notice that I'm actually on the line below it, but that doesn't matter. It's supposed to be there. So if I want to grab this right brunt bunch and bring it over to my current file, you simply do DO. So that's diff obtain, I guess, if you want to have some sort of um, mental image of it. So I do DO, and it just pulls it over like magic. And you'll notice that it's no longer colored differently or anything like that. Um, and then this line uh, you can ignore. But let's say we don't want that line anymore, just like so, we can do DO, and it'll get rid of it. It'll delete the line, but you can still undo just U, and it'll bring your line back. Um, and likewise with the next one. Uh, even if it's uh, middle of the line, I can just do DO and get my change back, undo, etc. Now, while you're diffing, this isn't very useful, but while you're merging, it may be. So if I go to the last diff, and I have a diff here, I could do DO to obtain from my right side, or I can do DP to put to my right side. So if I did a DP here, you'll notice that it also deleted on the right side. But maybe I didn't want to do that. But because you just put to the right side, you're going to have to move to the right window. So just move over there, control, control WL, and then undo that. Um, but like I said, you're in a diff. The changes that you are doing to this aren't saved because this is a, a temporary file, as you can see from down here. So that's the gist of it. You use right bracket C and left bracket C to move through your changes. Um, for example, I'm just going to change this here. Now, if for some reason your diff um, coloring gets out of out of whack, you can use the following command: diff up, which is short for diff update, and that'll force a recoloring of the diff. You'll you'll notice that these were changed, but uh, diff update fixed the coloring. And that's uh that's pretty much it. Now, a thing to be noted here is a lot of color schemes the authors kind of ignore the diff colors, which is unfortunate. Obviously I have a preference for the color scheme I wrote, which is what you're viewing right now. Um, a lot of you use Molokai. Molokai is okay for diffing. Um, it's, in my opinion, a bit bright and uh, doesn't color well because of the low contrast. But uh, it's not too bad. It's a lot better than the default scheme. Um, so if you're still using the default color scheme, oh god your eyes, I apologize. Stop doing that. Use something like desert. Or the uh, if you use a bright color scheme, let's see if I have it installed. Um, I do not have it installed, but probably the, the best uh, bright color scheme for diffs is pite. Um, spelled like so. P-Y-T-E. Um, also, Pixie is really good for uh, diffs if you have a bright color scheme, uh, but I prefer dark color schemes. So this is mine, Skittlesberry. There will be links to my color scheme, my git diff wrapper, my git config, and um, some help files that you guys can look after. And if you have any questions, post them in the thread, and I should hopefully get to you immediately. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys.